Vaccines are now available for everyone 12 years and older. Currently, our campus body is less than 50% vaccinated. It takes every one of us to stop the spread of coronavirus. So use, use your, your head, head and, and stop, stop the spread. spread. Congratulations to the following leaders elected into student government for 2021-2022 school year. President Anna Escovito, Vice President Charlie Robbins, Secretary Eusenia Hernandez, Treasurer Grace Dredchel, Marketing Chair Zoe Hodges, Historian Leah Peterson, Senior Senator Evelyn DeLong, Elizabeth Gutierrez, Margaret Kwasi, Mila Jones, and Meadow Simpson. Junior Senators Shelby Farrell Douglas, Monica Gatica, Kaylin House, and Jessica Keeley. Sophomore Senators Avery Barrett, Ava McCain, Leslie Nava, and Ava Subblefield. The first week of September, the freshmen will vote on their senators. Upperclassmen will vote for the remaining Senate seats. Two for the sophomore and junior classes, and one more Senate seat for the senior class. Finally, the entire campus will elect the House of Representatives, which are nominated from each advisory class. The mission of student government is to serve our student body and community with pride while cultivating relationships that enhance the learning and social environment of our campus. These leaders serve as your voice, so never hesitate to reach out to these individuals. Congratulations again to the newly elected student government. Pounce and Panthers. United Voices for Change is hosting a de-stress week starting Monday, June 7th. After school on Monday, head over to the concession stand in the VPA building for some free ice cream and popsicles. First come, first serve, so don't be late. On Tuesday, during both lunches, UV4C members will help students make friendship bracelets. On Wednesday, look out for golden tickets around the school to cash in for a prize. You can collect your prize after school outside by Building 3. Thursday is Affirmation Day. During lunch, UV4C members will pass out note cards so you can write an affirmational note to any teacher, student, faculty, or staff member. Friday is Summer Dress-Up Day. Dress up in a Hawaiian shirt or any summer apparel for a chance to win a prize. Tag UV4C in your story with a picture of your outfit or email imtuv4c at gmail.com to be entered in the contest. Check out the imtuv4c Instagram page for more information. Hi Panthers! I am here to give you a quick little bit of information about Pride Month, which is celebrated in the month of June. So a majority of Pride events are held in June to commemorate the anniversary of the Stonewall Rebellion in New York City that happened on June 28, 1969. Most historians consider this to be the birth of the modern LGBT community. And on June 28, patrons of the Stonewall Inn fought back against police riots on bars that were catering to the LGBT patrons. The resistance ignited a national firestorm of activism that brought new visibility to the struggles that the LGBT community was having for equality. June is unofficially recognized as Pride Month, and it's increasing in popularity and visibility with events, and this can partially be attributed to greater levels of acceptance towards the community. While Pride events play a key role in raising the profile of the community and commemorating the history of the LGBT social movement, Pride also marks an opportunity for the community and their allies to come together and celebrate in a festive, affirming atmosphere. If you'd like more information on how to be an ally, or if you would still like to make an ally button, or if you would like a rainbow pencil to show support, or if you just want more information on what you can do to support the LGBT community in Pride Month, please stop by my room or email me and I'm happy to provide those resources to you. Have a great summer. Congratulations to our nine STEM apprentices who have received an internship with Bell. Malcolm Keenan, Gracie Schwind, Marlene Cruz, Jessica Duenas, and Max Robinson will be interning in Bell Engineering. German Rojas and Lee Hodgson will be interning with Bell IT. Daniel Garcia will be interning with Bell Supply Chain 
and Charlie Robinson will be interning with Bell Quality Engineering Division. Pounce and Panthers! Last month, 13 of our I Am Terrell vocal apprentices submitted their performance videos to the Texas State Solo and Ensemble Contest. Their performances were rated on a scale of 1 to 5, with 1 being the highest. Recently, we learned that 9 of our apprentices earned superior ratings and 4 earned excellent ratings. Congratulations, vocal apprentices, on this momentous achievement. Pound some Panthers. Summer Launch is a program to allow Fort Worth ISD students to catch up or accelerate their learning and recover credits lost due to disruptions caused by COVID-19. The summer school program will be held from June 23rd to July 22nd and will include opportunities to regain credit in a variety of different courses. A large emphasis on summer launch will be placed on star test subjects. Registration is now open. For more information, visit www.fwic.org forward slash summer launch. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to Ms. Fowler, Mr. Ferretis, Ms. Charles, or Principal Brown. The last day to check out library books is next Friday, June 4th. If you have any library books that need to be returned to Ms. Owens, all library books must be turned in by Friday, June 11th. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Keep perfecting your Panther pride.